cheerful. Um, some more shower systems. So yeah, this is very comfortable for a DIYer or a professional to, to be able to source, specify, they'll store, um, they'll store project quantities for you. So yeah, let's have a look at some of the selections of tiles. So that is a no-go warehouse area. Well, basically this entire um, store is one big warehouse. Uh, hey, we are paying attention to tiles, guys. Uh, the prices. Uh, so you got your really simple glass tiles for about four bucks a square foot. Larger ones for five, and then your mosaics. Uh, they're actually individual tiles, so so these are all mosaic. But a lot of these three by six, two by six, two by eight, uh, three by six, four by eight. Uh, they're actually individual tiles, priced per each, as it should be. Um, Wow, and the selection is actually um, a huge, um, yeah, to get into opportunities and threats, uh, you got to research political sort of uh, policies and things, uh, but uh, definitely a, the selection is certainly a, a strength, uh, certainly a strength. So just walking these aisles, as far as mosaics are concerned, if you can't find what you're looking for in an establishment like this, um, you, it might take you a while. It may certainly take you a while because that entire wall and that aisle is, wow, is all uh, mosaics. Um, Okay, yeah, see, now you have all your specialty pieces here, like chair rails, pencil rails, you got your internal, external corners, um, borders, so you can kind of create your own medallion. Uh, I have not seen any medallions yet, however, um, from what I've seen as far as the, the, the rest of the... Um, selection you can kind of almost make your own medallion like you see up there see that would be like considered like a medallion or a, um or like a portrait piece or so yeah um certainly certainly the the selection is uh um is is definitely definitely on the, on the on the right side so now here we got these architectural tiles guys the technology behind this is actually um nanotechnology because what i what i'm seeing at the moment i mean this is a three by 70 foot so three by six foot so that's about 180 centimeters um by 90 so it's a 90 by 180 but the product that i've seen in europe it would come even like one one meter so it's like three and a half foot by five feet or the largest architectural tiles currently i think in existence in anywhere in the world is a five by ten foot <clears throat> so it's basically uh three meters uh by uh one and a half meters uh which is five feet by ten feet that's the largest architectural tile and, and, and in actuality because of the nanotechnology that they employed into making these <clears throat> they're not actually as thick as this because you can see this is like um a good three eighths to a half inch something to that effect 
Whereas the architectural tiles in Europe, <coughs> using nanotechnology, they're actually three mil. They're actually three mil thick. So that's about an eighth of an inch thick. And the tile is a five foot by 10 foot tile. So imagine the technology behind that, guys. <coughs> See, these are all large. They are, these are all pretty thick. So they're, you know, the, at least the suppliers they're using are, are still utilizing <coughs> the older <coughs> the older technology of actual of actual porcelain um but they are <coughs> making them i guess as large you know the large as large as they can see this is a four by four so these architectural <coughs> styles are just now you know 10 years ago when i uh when i was in this business uh in europe in britain in England, you know, we were selling, uh, we were selling uh, two by fours, four by fours, you know, day and night. I mean, this is it was just almost like a, uh, the new standard. But it is, you can see how much um, the expression when Europe sneezes, America catches a cold. How much that expression is true because. You know this is like 10 years later actually it's like 14 years later <clears throat> and just you know just now we're starting to see these uh large format architectural tiles but still on the old on the old porcelain uh on the old porcelain technology um we, we're just starting to see them come up now um but anyways um we are going to actually before we uh, head out guys uh we are going to look at this design center here where uh at the beginning before we walked in as i as i mentioned you can you can come up here and <clears throat> so you can have you can see bays in situ wow this is nice half inch glass so this is a very nice shower enclosure guys i would highly recommend uh having one like this so you step in, you take your shower, you want to sit down, wash your feet, rest your arm, you know, so somebody thought of everything. And also these, these uh, door hinges are uh, 180 degrees. Um, so as you open close, see nice uh, uh, composite, uh, composite sink base unit. Uh, with a with a floating vanity uh, I don't know about the gold but nonetheless a beautiful beautiful uh, beautiful design there <coughs> see you got your smaller you got your freestanding tubs made by Americans so this is acrylic but they do do them in a stone resin just like that sink was that's a stone resin sink and it's got that acrylic finish um boy sold millions of those back in back in london uh so yeah you guys can come up here you can sit down with one of these uh designers here um we i took their cards from the front uh one of the designers but it don't, doesn't seem like they have their cards here they have their cards there there you go so if you want to make an appointment uh they only work by appointment these guys um so there's a senior designer, there's a design 